we've come to our favorite organic cultivation effort in Thailand. This is where Oud Yusuf was distilled from trees that were actually never cut down. All that our artisan does is injure the tree so that the resin is triggered and then he only merely carves out the resonated portions allowing the tree, the, the tree to thrive and further grow and yield more resin. So you can see here what we've done here is drill the hole this triggers the infection and the resin emission inside the trunk and then gently what he does is to carve and chisel all of the resonated portions. You can see how the resin here has a unique reddish hue. If you zoom in there, you can see this is clearer here in this one, for example. Take a look here. Look at that resin there. It's like a reddish agar wood. I had this, uh, this Cambodian wood statue that I had on the website recently that had the same color resin, like a reddish reddish resin. It's incredible. So when the tree becomes too sick to stand, or when the trunk is totally permeated by resin, what he does is simply just shave off the, the infected and the, the sickly portions, allowing the rest to further thrive. And you can see we have a whole new trunk emanating from this base here. Look how high up that goes. Okay, and it's a young trunk that promises more agar wood and more resin. You know, most farmers, all other farmers, would have simply just cut this trunk off. It would have yielded whatever oil was inside this portion here. And this whole trunk here would have gone to waste. Look at this. This whole trunk here would have been wasted. Look how, how tall that is and how thin. This is what I, you know, this it just moves me, this kind of dedication and love for this species of tree. It's incredible. So what happens is that the tree slowly will heal itself by emitting the resin to fight off the infestation. Look here. You see some nails here that have been put into the tree to, to, to induce resin, just like the, the drilling of the holes. It's a beautiful thing, look at that. Wow. Okay, look. So what happens is that the tree will slowly start to heal itself. Here we have some resin being given off. Okay. He's cut it out, made oil out of it, which we have named Ud Yusuf after the most beautiful human being that ever existed because it truly it is the most beautiful oud oil I've ever smelled. Now look what happened. Look at this resin here. This here is what we call kian. Kian is brown, fully resonated heartwood. What most distillers use in their oil distillation is white wood with the brown around the hole that has been drilled in order to trigger the infection in the tree, to, to, uh, to trigger the oud resin. Lots of things that bite around here. Okay, so now this is what the tree looks like further down the healing process. This is one step closer to the healing process, right here. Okay, you see now it's becoming brown. And here...
here the trunk has completely healed. Okay, it has closed off the wound. Okay, and it's on the right on the brink of complete recovery. You can see a better illustration of that here if you look at this portion here. Not only has the tree healed the actual heartwood, it has actually formed a new skin. The bark has been completely replaced. So this is a fully healed agarwood tree that is now completely, completely loaded with resin inside the trunk. As you, you can see if you look. This is proper kin. Okay, this is the, the highest oil content in agarwood possible is in kian heartwood as opposed to the incense grade outer shell which, which is used as in incense and which is the only kind that will sink in water which is not can, which contains resin and not oil. Wow, I just got bit by something. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> okay, look, look, if you come up here. If you come up here. You can see more stages in the healing process of the tree. Okay, this tree is completely healed. Proceed further down this way. Injected with honey and hydrosol. Right here are the holes that the farmer injects with honey to attract ants that will further spread the disease inside the trunk. The other holes, on the other hand, if you look here after the injection, this is a very strong and hardy tree, so it has completely cured itself. These holes are closed. You see that? So, agar wood oil is a process of healing. It's, it's actually medicine that the tree emits inside itself to cure itself from a fatal illness. It's, it's really incredible. However, it's quite dangerous out here with all the, all the things that sting. So I want to show you some trunks here. Healed and even put on new bark, new, new skin. has put on a proper bark out. Okay, or is, is on the way to doing so. Okay, he's carved the wood out, chiseled the wood out and into a hollow part inside the trunk as we saw down there in the other trunks. And here the trunk has fully cured and healed itself. You see that? And look at the end. The wound is slowly closing, yet there's a hole inside which is triggering more and more resin inside the tree. This is a fully cured agarwood tree. 
it's a beautiful beautiful thing to behold look at this look at this bark here it just merges into the rest of the uncut bark look okay this was cut before and even the actual heartwood was shaved out to make oil now you see how it has grown and regenerated itself and is now one with with the bark that wasn't touched and all the holes are almost nearly completely closed you see that yet the ants are there busy at their job more examples here this tree has not put on a new bark yet this seems to be slightly thicker than the other ones because we've had to cut off one of the trunks here due to illness okay but it's on the way you can see almost it's on the way to to putting a new bark however it seems to be rather thick you can see the, the color of the of the skin here it has like a greenish fungal kind of hue look at that if you zoom in here you see the fungus and look here look on this one this one is sick you see the disease has taken over this trunk and there's actually these groves in there of of diseased portion yet yeah, it's it's fighting he had to cut this one off but look at the fungus you see that fungus on the trunk that's the disease wow what a tall trunk this is look at that look at that So here we have the unique agarwood grove used in the distillation of our most beautiful and most ethically harvested and most beautifully distilled and crafted oud oil, oud yusuf.